this is a question actually from me. Um, I was wondering if um, if someone's allowed to connect their Traders Post account or brokerage account that isn't under their name. So we don't technically monitor for this. Um, I would say that publicly, that's you know that's probably not advisable because it violates the terms with the broker uh, in some way. I think. Typically, brokers have a an expectation that the user connected to the account is the owner of the account, and that if you're going to connect to an account that's owned by somebody else, I believe they have to add you as a user to the system. Um, I would ask this question specifically to the broker to confirm that they're okay with that connection being made, because at the end of the day, as a technology provider at Traders Post, um, those specific types of rules are actually under the 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 terms of service with the broker and not with us. Uh, and, it, and it has to do with effectively liability concerns. If you're connecting to a brokerage account that isn't under your name and you take a trade under somebody's account that you don't have that you're not a beneficiary of, um, and you're you're sort of assuming fiduciary responsibility to that account and could end up creating a liability with that person. Uh, so I would I would tread very carefully there. Yeah, so I wanted to bring this up as an opportunity also to speak about user accounts, which is how um, a client of mine dealt with this issue, where you can grant um, a specific user accounts so someone else who has a Trader Supposed account can log in with their own username and password in order to manage certain settings within your account, which is the situation that uh, I had found myself in, that I needed to be able to uh, help uh, connect the strategy to Traders Post. And then Traders Post has this wonderful feature that allows me, I don't have to request the password from my my client. I don't have to connect to their broker. They can handle all that. And I can actually go in, change all the settings and have it set up um, and know that the trades are, are passing through without me having to actually log into their brokerage account. So yeah. that is a feature in case you're not aware of, exists on Traders Post. And finally here, um, someone was asking, well, there we go. That's where, where I'm going to lead to. Can I grant someone temporary access to my account without sharing my password? Um, this is where the the user accounts come into play. Um, you don't have to give people your your password. You can set them up with a user account, and then you can revoke that access, which is great. Because <laughs> you yeah. can be like, all right, I'm done with this person. I don't have to go through the rigmarole. I don't have to ask them anything. I don't have to change my own password. I could just um, undo their access to my account. Yeah, it should, we should clarify that user management is only available on the pro and premium plans. Um, right. It isn't available on the lower plans. So if you're if you're wanting to share this with somebody else, you'll have to upgrade that account so that 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 you can essentially add a user account to your account, and then that person can log in and see all the same uh, strategies and subscriptions and everything that's in the account. Perfect, and it's very easy to use, very easy to switch within the interface. I was mm -hmm. pretty uh, pretty impressed with that.